Tonight on Cooking with Tammy, we're going to be making a delicious creamy garlic shrimp and grits recipe. When I tell you there's nothing better than a nice creamy garlicky buttery flavored shrimp paired with decadent melt in your mouth grits, what? Guys, as you know, I always bring it and tonight we are going to be making this delicious recipe. So with all of that being said, let's introduce these ingredients and get to cooking. For this recipe, we are going to need shrimp. These are jumbo shrimp, as you can see. They have been deveined, washed, cleaned, and pat dried, and they are ready to go. We're also going to need some grits, along with either water or chicken broth, totally optional, smoked or regular gouda, parmesan cheese, heavy cream, salt, pepper, butter, garlic, whether it be minced or finely chopped, finely chopped shallots, oil, parsley, and white wine. For my non-wine drinkers, you're going to sub with either seafood stock, veggie stock, or even chicken stock. And trust me, that would work for this recipe perfectly fine. With all of that being said, let's get to cooking. First thing we're going to do is we're going to add our liquid to the pot. Now, as I mentioned before, you can use either water or broth. We're going to cover it down, allow it to heat on up, and do what it do. In the meanwhile, we are going to work on making our shrimp. So, to these beautiful shrimp right here, we're going to hit it off with a small dash of salt, just like that, followed by some freshly cracked black pepper, a small drizzle of oil. Of course, you could use avocado oil, veggie oil, whatever oil you prefer. We're going to get in there with our trusty fingers. We're going to mix it on up really good. And I know you guys are like, but wait a minute, where's the, you know, where's the best seasoning? Nah, we're going to chill out tonight. So we're just going to add salt and pepper. That's all we need. And I guarantee you it's still going to be packed with a ton of flavor. Moving right along to our cast iron skillet or even a regular skillet, we're going to add a small drizzle of oil. Once that pan comes up to temperature, meaning nice and hot, because we're going to sear this shrimp, we're going to add the shrimp to the pan just like that. Right now, my flame is on medium heat. As you can see, our pan is smoking hot. We're going to give our shrimp about one to two minutes. And of course, the indicating factor of knowing when your shrimp is cooked, as you can see, the outer, or should I say like the outskirts of the shrimp is starting to turn pink. All you got to do at that point in time is flip it on over. Allow the other side to cook as well. So I would say about another minute or minute and a half and our shrimp should be nice and perfectly cooked through. We are going to grab a plate, get those shrimp onto the plate and set it aside. And using the same pan, guys, yes, we're not going to twist what's in this pan because all of the flavor is locked into this pan right here. So we're going to add some butter. We're not going to add all the butter, but we are going to add about, let's say, two tablespoons of the butter. Allow that butter to melt on down. Get in there with a spatula, mix it on up. Incorporate the flavors from the shrimp with the butter. Add those shallots. Now, I know a lot of you are probably saying, but Tammy, I don't have any shallots on hand. Not a problem whatsoever. Use some regular onions. Once you dice it on up really finely, you should be good to go. And we're going to add our finely chopped or minced garlic to the pan as well. Mix it on in there. Stir it continuously because you don't want the garlic to burn. At this point in time, if your pan is too hot, definitely lower the flame as well. Everything looks perfect so far and I can guarantee you everything smells absolutely delicious. Now we're gonna go in there and we're gonna add a white wine to the mix, mix it on up really, really good. And the question is, which white wine should I use? Personally, use any white wine that you would consider drinking. Of course, if you want to use half and half, you can, but I prefer the heavy cream. It gives it more of a nice decadent flavor and consistency. Give it a good stir. To kick the flavors up a notch, we are going to add our Parmesan cheese. And we're going to get in there and we're going to break that cheese on down, allow it to become nice and melted. I swap the spatula for a small whisk. Whisk it really, really good. Allow those cheeses to break on down. And at this time, you want to lower the flame even more, allow everything to come to a slow simmer. Now that our saucy sauce has come to a slow simmer, we're going to hit it off with some parsley. Now, if you have fresh parsley on hand, you're going to chop it up really finely. You're going to add the fresh parsley. When I tell you the color contrast from the nice greenery of the parsley is everything, it really is. However, if you don't have that and you do have the dried parsley, you can add that as well. At this point in time, we're going to add our shrimp back to the pan. 
If your shrimp wasn't cooked all the way through at that point, allow it to cook through at this point. We're gonna hit it off with some more parsley. And guess what, guys? We are done. We're gonna turn our stovetop off. All right, at this time, our broth is boiling, so we are gonna add our grits. Give it a good mix. Make sure nothing is sticking to the bottom. And when it comes to how much grits to add to the liquid, definitely follow the instructions on the back of the box because, of course, every brand is different. After a couple of minutes, this is what we have. We're gonna get in there, we're gonna add our butter to give it that nice creamy flavor. Along with our heavy cream, stir it on up, make sure everything is well combined. So far, this is looking absolutely perfect. And of course, we're gonna hit it off with our smoked Gouda. If you don't have smoked Gouda, add regular Gouda. Or if you want to add cheddar, whatever cheese you want to add, you want to add fontina, parmesan, knock yourself out, add what you want to add. Get the cheese on up in there, mix it on up. And because we love cheesy grits around here, we're also going to add some parmesan cheese. Give it a good mix once again. Last but not least, we're going to hit it off with some freshly cracked black pepper. Stir it on up and boom! Our delicious creamy grits are done. We're going to get our favorite bowl and we are going to add our grits to the bowl just like that. Mm -hmm. And of course, don't be stingy. Add enough and add a lot. We're going to grab our shrimp off of the stovetop. Or should I say our creamy garlic buttery shrimp? Mm -hmm. And we're going to top our grits off with our shrimp just like that. One by one. And of course, we're going to add some of that decadent delicious creamy sauce to our grits as well. We're gonna hit it off with some more parsley. And guess what? We are done. Our delicious creamy garlic shrimp and grits is ready to be served. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, guys, as always, I'm your girl cooking with Tammy and I will definitely catch you guys in another video. Talk to you later. Bye, guys.